So today we are flying out the f 8 one b Bearcat and this thing has been requested quite a bit because it's kind of hard to fly and it's kind of underwhelming according to some people. But I want to give you a little trick, a secret technique to make this thing a lot more enjoyable and fun to fly. So you want to be in the hangar like we are right here and then you want to go to the resource tab. And you want to scroll up a little bit to a plane you've already resourced before and probably spayed it. You want to click choose crew, give it a crew. There you go, you press the battle and you're just going to have a much better time. Hope this helps you out and I will see you all in... Alright, in all seriousness though, uh, it's actually a pretty decent plane. It's not the best and I do think that the FU-4B is superior. So if you're just flying it to grind, then just fly that thing instead. And it does have a few things going for it. It's one of the fastest props on the deck. It's one of the best climbing props on the deck. And you lose so much speed in the turn that your rudder never compresses, so to speak. Uh, this thing also has some massive drawbacks. And the three main ones are your engine is a ticking time bomb your rudder compresses above 550 or something it's extremely fast and you bleed so much energy in a turn it feels like you're flying a supersonic jet and the combination of you not being able to web 24 7 and the energy that you lose in a turn is extremely detrimental to this plane and just the energy loss in general wouldn't be a problem just the overheating engine wouldn't be a problem of course it would be annoying on their own but the combination of it just makes it so that you can't really regain your energy most of the time of course at the start of the game over here i'm running full mech 100 rads and it's just not enough you need to lower your prop pitch you need to open your radiators completely and you just you have to look at your engine like it's your baby and this was one of the the first games that i did where my engine management wasn't up to date yet because i did a lot more games after this and i did improve it a little bit and you can't really stop the overheat. You just have to stop wapping at times. But right here I want to show you this gameplay. Because it's pretty showing. Uh, how much speed you lose. How badly it compresses in terms of the rudder. And just the overheat. The overheat is what's going to be the, the end of me in this video. And I thought. I think this is a perfect showcase for the, for the plane. Right now I'm just flying away from this Kia 87. No big deal. He's not going to catch me. I'm faster than him. I should be able to outclimb him as well. And I'm just extending for now. I don't really want to turn around right now. Because I will be like really close to his guns. And I will be essentially forcing a last second head on. And I will lose a lot of speed in an aggressive turn like that. Which you can't really do in this thing. And right now I'm just trying to fly away. Hoping this Kia 87 breaks off. The Kika behind him is clearly going for me as well. And I kind of want to deal with him. So I'm hoping that the Kia 87 gets bored. Flies away from me. And then I can maybe handle the Kika. Because if a plane starts catching you in this thing and you need to web late game, uh, you're going to burn up your engine and you're going to lose. So I want these fast planes out of the, the area. Yes, Kikas are broken as hell. I don't know, the guy that commented on my last video said they weren't. The, they are insane. They go 860 on the deck, if not faster. They climb extremely well. They don't lose any speed. They have two amazing guns. Of course, when it's stock, it's inaccurate. It's a bad shell. It's only one gun and it's a pain to use. But that thing spaded it, is an absolute monster. And should not be 6.7. Key 87 here. Kind of stalling out. Not sure what he's trying to do. Almost missed him there. Because this thing doesn't actually turn that well. Uh, in terms of pull. It has a good turn rate. And it can dogfight with most things. But that's mostly due to the low energy performance this thing has. In terms of your flaps users. And the radial engine at like 200 kph. Shitting out an insane amount of power. As long as you're not overheating of, of course. Keep coming back. Trying to get a shot in right here. He pitches up. And there's just no way I'm going to catch him. Try to get a long ball shot. Didn't manage to hit. So we're going to go back to extending. Because I need my energy up. And I say amazing in chat. Because, because this guy is clearly playing it somewhat right. And it's going to take me a lot of time to kill this man. And look at the amount of time I have. Considering my team is dead and there is not. I need to kill this guy fast. So I'm going to push ahead on here. This is not something I recommend doing all the time. But this time it was a calculated uh, risk. And I needed to take it. Paid off in the end. And you hit me with a 30 mil. This could have been the end of the game. And that's why you shouldn't full commit head on. It's a waste. On his end, not sure why he took it. On my end, I will do it again in the same scenario. And that's a kick out of the match. Which is one of the most dangerous enemies right now. I'm not wrapping right now. Trying to cool the engine down. And then I will try to wrap again. Because I need to catch this Kika. In retrospect, I shouldn't have wrapped here. Because I'm kind of just wasting my web and wasting my, uh, my temperatures. But I'm going to get very close to the Kika here. And you can see the rudder compression in a second. Look at that. It just doesn't move. And it's very annoying to shoot like this. But I need this Kika dead. So I'm going to burn up my engine. I'm going to keep it in the red. 
I'm just gonna spray this man down. Shoot a line, get a hit, unfortunately so. Because the a and trees are extremely strong. But they do give you hits here and there. Managed to get a crit on the Kika from one kilometer. And now my engine is overheating really badly. And I can't climb as I want to. If I had one more minute of climb right now. Of no overheat. I would have probably been fine this whole game. So in the end this game became very tedious. Because of the fact that I can't really use Mac. And we're gonna turn around then. Because I need to kill that F uh, J6K right here. And look at my speed. I'm trying to nurture it. Trying to turn very slowly to not lose that much. And it still loses quite a bit. In a vertical of course you will always lose some energy. And this thing in the vertical has pretty good retention. As long as you don't start turning. This man just flies straight basically. Almost didn't get it. Managed to neck G into him. And shoot him out of the air as well. And at this point I kind of want the RTB. My engine is overheating pretty badly. I don't have the most amount of ammo anymore. But I'm very far away. And the Kia 84 just crashed. Which is good. And now there's only two enemies in the in the area, except for the, the Kika who is basically dead. And I'm going to be climbing here. I'm trying to get my altitude a little bit up so I can start fighting those Kia 87s. And Kia 87 in this thing should be basically food. And at this point I was kind of like, okay, I should be good here. There's only three enemies left. Let's look at them real quick, what they fly the most, if they're spaded, if they're Japanese mains or whatever. So yes, I do want to know what the enemies can do in this scenario. And it didn't look too bad. Kika is trying to catch me here, but he won't be able to kill me. I'm just going to be climbing. And I think without the web, it's going to start overheating. I web a little bit to get some extra climb rate in. So I can go a little bit steeper and get a little bit of an altitude advantage. Because I want to get away from this Kika and kind of dissuade him from trying to pitch up for me. In retrospect, this wasn't a very good idea. And I'm just trying to climb away from these guys. And if I hadn't... Knowing that my engine was about to overheat as badly as it is in a second. Then I wouldn't have turned in right here. Which is another major mistake of this plane. And you need to be aware of how bad this engine overheats. You just need to be aware of it. And there you go. Oil overheated. And at this point I'm like. Ah uh, this is not good. I can't fly away anymore. Well I can. But I thought it's a Kia 87. How bad can it be? I have some altitude. I have some speed. I can probably dogfight this guy. Shouldn't be a problem. I start wapping here. Shoot a little bit in the head on in case he flies into it. And I just go up. Which is something you do quite a lot in this thing. And it's, you should get away with it. I throttle down to cool down my engine a little. And the other guy comes in right now. He's diving down. Quite sure I was going to hit this. Barely miss him. Very unfortunate. Probably would have been fine this game if I had hit that. I can still wrap a little bit. This guy is not going to get the shot on me. I can just go up. I will stall this man out. The other guy dove down to get some speed. And then pitch back up. Which is completely fine. He's not going to catch this because I can still throttle up somewhat. I'm just going to fly over him. Dive a little bit to pick up some speed. Dodge his shells and we pull back up. Up we go. Start weaponing again. This man is just going to stall out behind me. Not a big deal. Other key 87 coming in. Just going to go straight to pick up a little bit of speed and altitude as he comes closer. And he's shedding a lot of speed in that climb he is in. Once you get a little bit close, I'm just going to pull right over his nose. And at this point it's basically over. Then the squad, they're taking turns, they're probably on voice comms. They're really taking the turns well, unfortunately. So if I had more engine power here, if I had nurtured my engine more at the start of the game, I would have been completely fine there. And that's just the unfortunate truth of the heavy death. And I'm kind of mulling in chat, just ignore that. Good fight on the other team. Kind of annoying this, uh, to fly this thing, but you know it is what it is. I should have just disengaged halfway into that fight, but I wasn't aware of how bad the, uh, the FDF overheat actually was. Hope you enjoyed it, and see you all very soon again.